This is crazy. I'm underneath a garage right now. Above me is a suspended concrete slab garage floor. It is resting on this chuck in a truck YouTube DIY framing. When I say poorly framed, there is nothing right about that 2x4 that has a couple of screws in it. Huh, I don't even know where to start with this. Okay. These are the joist hangers that are holding up a concrete, a suspended concrete garage floor. These are the support columns. These are the nails holding them in. That looks good. How do people not unalive themselves? This is insanity. They've just got random 4x4 four four posts, some metal columns, some 2x4s. This is what happens when a handyman builds a garage floor. Could you imagine if somebody pulled in a Tesla? Thousands of pounds sitting up on top of this thing right now. I don't even want to be under here. Look at this rust. It looks like it was in the bottom of the ocean growing barnacles. I'm out. This is a big bunch of nope. Okay, so this starts off bad. These steps are in horrible shape. But at least they put 471 screws into each stair tread. This one's only got 351. But yeah, these are these are not in good shape. Oh, but it gets worse. Apparently, they just use pieces of old pallets, some old rope. Hey, there's my project truck. These stairs are so cobbled together, but watch, this gets way worse. Here, they just started stacking up treads. That one's broken. And the retaining wall is falling down. And this right here is the garage with the suspended concrete floor. <laughs> so, somebody's going to open that up, park their car in there on top of some old 2x6s and 2x8s with rusted joist hangers, and that is going to collapse. That is a giant bunch of nope right there. Alright guys, I'm down here in this basement right now. And That's powder post beetle damage. Look what else we found. Good news, they patched the foundation in here. You know, it always works good patching on the inside. You guys already know what I'm gonna say about out here. But, water always wins. And it'll always find a way in. And you always solve moisture intrusion problems from the outside, not from the inside. We'll see, because of the hydrostatic pressure, this patch is starting to give way. And that patch's days are numbered. 